Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your B-O-Y between the game sports. Back, give you another great video and topic. But y'all know the drill, man. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and then hit that bell button to get those notifications. Man, today I just want to give props and acknowledgement of Black History and Mr. Steve McNair. Aaron McNair is what they called him. If you never got a chance to see him play, you truly, truly missed out. And he had one of the greatest seasons ever at all corn state at HBCU. So we're celebrating this man's life. We're going to show some highlights right now. But he was at all corn and he just totally demolished every opponent that he played against. He was unreal. He was the best player on the field anytime that he touched the field. That's crazy to think. And there are coaches across the country that said Steve McNair would have been the best player at any high major school if he wanted to go there. He was that good. He was that dynamic. And the best thing about Steve McNair was not one his his talent or his arm strength or his speed. Those are all great skills and accolades to have. But his heart, you couldn't measure his heart with a 10 foot long ruler that could touch the sky. Whatever you may want to measure with, you could not measure his heart. And that's what made him great, made him a great, great college athlete. And then it transferred over into the NFL where he was dynamic for the Titans uh, and the Ravens. I played for one more team. I just can't remember. Oh, the Oilers. But, you know, same thing. But Steve McNair was that good. He also won the NFL MVP in 2003, I believe. He just had a tremendous, tremendous career. And it all started at Alcorn where he got a chance to shine. Y'all think about this. Steve McNair finished third in the Heisman voting <laughs> at a <an> HBCU, <laughs> Division I AA. He finished third in the Heisman voting where he was just getting the job done on and off the field. There was nothing anyone could do with him, and he deserves to get his praise. He deserves to get his acknowledgement and continue to get his acknowledgement. And his life was cut short due to tragedy at some point a few years back. But that's neither here nor there. This dude had one of the greatest seasons ever in college football. He was so good that they put him on Sports Illustrated cover. And back then, for the younger folks who don't know, Getting on the Sports Illustrated was like going viral, like literally going viral. He just had, he was that dude, man. Like he was that dude. He had just a tremendous, tremendous uh, career at Alcorn. Like I said, he finished third in, in Heisman voting, 111, 111 first place votes. And you can see right here the stats that he had from that season where he quite possibly could have won the Heisman. But, again, acknowledging Steve McNair, Black History, Alcorn State, home of the Braves, getting it done. So he deserves all the flowers that he deserves. So, man, that's it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think of Steve McNair. Like I said, I thought he was incredible. I got a chance to see it. Uh, some personal, especially when he played in Houston, because I am from Houston. But, man, shout out to Steve McNair celebrating black history. As y'all know, when I lead these things, man, I try to leave you with words of positivity. So on your best day, be better. Think about it. 20 Game Sports. I'm out.